Right, YouTube, it's uh, Wow Sly. Uh, second attempt at making this video, because uh, the first one I've just done and it was like 25 minutes long. <laughs> I've got a habit of making long videos. So we'll try and recover everything in this video again. Um, only hopefully less than 10 minutes. Um, yeah, right, this is my 1,000 subscriber giveaway competition uh, appreciation video. Uh, what can I say? Wow. Um, this time last year, I think I had like 250 subscribers and um, 350,000 views on my channel. And I've got just over 1,000 subscribers now and 500 and something thousand views. So I've had 250,000 views this year and probably 750 subs. Um, so I'm um, unbelievable, really. Unbelievable. Fantastic response to my videos. Uh, they certainly aren't professional or high standard or educational. It's, my channel's just really a vlog, just a video blog of uh, what I'm up to and what I'm doing at the moment. A um, lot of the overnight wild camps and stuff, you know, for me to sort of look back and now and then I watch them, my own videos, it's not sad. It's I, I watch it and think, why was I doing that? You know, I could do that differently next time or that didn't look right. It's always nice to look in from a, a different angle sometimes at something. And um, yeah, I can learn a lot from watching my own videos, as strange as it sounds. Um, but hopefully there's some videos on there that can help other people. There's some tips and stuff that I've learned and I'll share on here. Uh, there's even the silly little videos. Recently I've put in a how not to install a radio into the car. You know, that's not really educational at all. That's just showing me bodging it up. Um, some unboxing videos, wild camera videos, my solar projects, um, radios, camping. There's a big variety of uh, videos. I don't just do, you know, wild camping. I don't just play around with solo. I don't just do amateur radio. I don't just do CB. And, you know, it varies. There's a lot of different things. So that's what the competition is going to be about, this giveaway is uh, I'd like to know what people, why people subscribe to me, because I don't know why people subscribe to me. Um, so I'd like a VR, a little video response. Uh, it could be t 20 seconds long, could be 20 minutes long. Um, just basically saying why, you know, why you, you subscribe to me. Is it for A, B or C, or is it for A and B or A and C? Um, so yeah, just make a quick little video. Um, it's the 1st of December at the moment. Um, I'm going to run this for what month? The 1st of January I'll do the draw. Probably be a random org dot thing to make it fair. Ready? I don't know. Not sure yet. Not sure how we're going to do the draw. But yeah, I'm just looking for a VR. Um, people, well subscribers, because obviously you have to subscribe to me to be in the draw. Um, yeah, just tell me why, why you subscribe to me. Is it because of um, my poor sense attempts at solar projects? Uh, is it for my prepping side of things? Is it for my bug out videos or my radio activity? Um, was it for the DIY stuff of me like bodging up things, bits and pieces? Um, I have no idea why people subscribe to me. So make a VR. Um, title it VR to Wow Sly. And then whatever else you want to add at the end of that. Uh, and then PM me, send me a little message with the link for the video. Telling me you've you've made the video and uh, you'll be in the in the in the draw on the 1st of January um hope that's the terms and conditions clear um this is only for people in the UK because of postage um posting out of the UK is always a pain posting within the UK is also a pain um although it took 2 weeks for a letter from the next town to get here um they posted it sort of 2 3 weeks ago and it turned up on Friday and it should have been here two weeks ago. Yet, I can get a parcel from Hong Kong in seven days. So, yeah, the Royal Mail kind of sucks over here at the moment. Well, always does. Uh, so, yeah, you've got to be subscribed to me. You've got to be in the UK. Um, you can make a VR if you're not in the UK. And I'll try and do something nice back because I'll appreciate it. But I obviously can't post out in the UK. I'm really sorry about that. But I just, it's just a hassle. Um... Mrs. Works in the post office and I can't get special favours 
on the post office, unfortunately. Right, so that's uh, the waffling out of the way. Let's go and have a little look at uh, the stuff I'm going to bag up and uh, tag up and send to uh, whoever wins this uh, VR competition. Right, again, this is my second attempt, so everything's out all over the place. Uh, we've got my old EDC pouch. It's a Webtex first aid pouch, it just about says on there. A uh, cracky little pouch, uh, universal, you can put it on, you know, attach it to your belt, that way, that way, your rucksack, you can molly it in somehow to something. Just a zip that goes halfway around, like a D-shaped zip. Um, size of my hand, cracking for EDC, or you might have uh, some other stuff to go in there. Uh, that you want to carry around or keep safe in a bag. Um, so all this is going to be one prize. I'm not doing like third, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Um, another Webtex item, map case. Uh, cracking map case, very durable. Uh, adjustable shoulder straps. A couple of D rings on there so you can attach it to uh, your belt, clothes, bag, uh, anything really. The front's got one, two, three, four, five, five pen pockets pen things um, and a big pouch here which is probably the same size as that webtex pouch so you can get your GPS unit in there and all sorts probably fit a very small yeah maybe a small tablet in there if you want to look at these online I think they're about 12 12 or 15 pound new uh, it's the webtex IRR India Romeo Romeo map case You just fold the map section up you want and put it in there. Does up with a couple of Velcros and then there's zip underneath it so your map's totally secure and protected. Obviously, because if you purchase your maps, you'll know that they are not cheap. And obviously you want to look after them. Uh, then we've got the Webtex. No, we haven't. We've got a Viper. A Viper tactical uh, vest. It's not showing up too well in here because it's uh, low light. Um, we've got six magazine points pouches in the front pockets um, they're called magazine pouches but you can use them for anything uh, great for walkie-talkie handheld radios I've had several different types of uh, handheld CB fit in here and my bow fan with the extended battery also fits in here uh, they're elasticated straps on the side so they hold your items in there nice and snug um, drainage holes at the bottom all of them, a couple of molly loops here to add carabiners on each side. At the front, so you can put keys, maybe a water bottle or compass on there. Heavy duty zip. Um, chest pocket, Velcro. Ideal for phone, GPS, something, something. Slightly bigger one on the right hand side. Well, as you wear it, it'll be the left. Again, drainage hole. This one's got um, elasticated loops inside to secure things. They're not shotgun shell size. Um, shotgun shell size ones used to come out on Velcro. But I've lost it since. Used to Velcro in there. So I haven't got the shotgun shell ones. These are probably twice the size, different sizes. So you can put your items in there. Maybe a survival whistle, lighter, something you don't want to lose. And then another one up there, which is great. I used to use it for my phone. And that's just a popper. That sits high up on your chest, near enough on the front of your shoulder. Uh, a couple of D-rings at the top. These are metal D-rings, they're not plastic. Metal D-rings. Uh, belt. Velcro adjusting. Uh, no chance it's going to come loose or go stray. Uh, with the double pushing and then the button in the middle to release. So it's got the double locking mechanism. Then on the back, large style webbing loops. There's three lots of three, so one, two, three. Go across the back and they've got three loops in each. Inside each one, it's got Velcro, just to secure items that little bit more. It's not very bright in here. Um, and it's the uh, lightweight mesh stuff. Um, but it's doubled up so it's twice as strong it's not the thin stuff it's quite thick um, but in the back you could put um, a square of foam 
uh, or documents in there or even a rolled up t-shirt or something lightweight because it's open at the top and uh, if you can see that you can actually slide stuff in the back of it you could even put a bit of body armor in there if you wanted to um so yeah the, the height of it if you're tall velcro adjustable straps that come over the shoulder and attach to the back of your shoulder um you on velcro them move up and down determine the height of the vest on your person grab handle so the guy behind you can pull you back to safety if need be uh, the sides are uh, just cordage but you could replace it with um all sorts really shoelace is it paracord i think that might be some sort of paracord don't quote me you literally do them up like you would your shoelaces uh, and then you can uh, tighten it loosen it to depend how wide you are okay, it's not showing up very well um, but safety first uh, if you are in the ship um, and you need medical attention you can just run a knife up there or paramedics will just cut that and get it off you no messing around uh, loops all the way around again decent decent belt I think the velcro goes all the way around so when you, when you get pouches webbing pouches or molly pouches with velcro they won't slide um, you can attach one big say um, oh, what do you call it? the admin pouch like Maxpedition make you can put that on there uh, and have a couple of ones on the back you can fill this with several pouches one big pouch uh, you can get a small rucksack and uh, molly that on there um, you know you could I used to carry pouches on here just um, uh, like DPM pouches you'd have on your belt like water bottle pouches um, but you can put absolutely anything on the back of here because on the inside pocket on this side if I can open it up it's bigger than my hand it says um, black pack uh, tactical load bearing it's a load bearing vest tactical load bearing vest from Viper uh, the inside pockets on both sides velcro open not very stealthy um, but they're huge you can put a oh, decent sized woolly hats and gloves in here you could probably fit one of those small micro um, waterproof jackets you know would fit in there Your phone maps documents anything you want to keep safe put in there um, that's not actually the mess on the inside it's semi waterproof material um, I'm not gonna say water resistant because waterproof and water resistant are different so you can put stuff in there it's gonna keep reasonably dry um, and again the main part of it uh, front is single mesh um, but the back is like I said two skins of mesh so you can slide things in there one bit of foam all the way down or um, cut the maps or um, you know change your clothes you could flatten down t-shirt fold it up and put it in there um, pair of shorts in there you could I don't know I've never actually used that facility on it but it is handy to have so that's it I do tend to waffle uh, it's a Viper vest um, looking at 20 to 40 pounds you can probably get them imported for about 20 quid not imported but second hand um, not a very expensive bit of kit you know not the best name and make in the world but a very handy and versatile uh, bit of equipment uh, like i said you can use this for fishing uh, survival radio camping generally just walking out you know a long distance walk with a dog if you want to take a bottle of water um, i'm pretty sure i can't remember but i think you can get like bottles of lucasaid in there because i think i used to put bottles of lucasaid in these um the little bottles like the mini bottles of coke um, you could put like a whole picnic in there and just go for a massive walk and not have to worry about carrying a bag phone walkie-talkie torches you know whatever you're doing you'll get most of it in there just saves carrying a small rucksack really um, right and uh, there's two of these compression sacks uh, I've opened them up so we can see how big they are that one is 12 15 16 inches long by about a foot wide um it's the compression sack with the clips on it two clips on the side and this one is slightly bigger it's probably two foot long uh, no velcro clips but big handles on there so you can really pull it tight probably like four inch straps either end it really does compress stuff very well 
This is like the nylon one. This is that waxy material. So both water resistant, not waterproof. Before people say, oh, a drip of water got in. Uh, when new, I think this was a flotation device. You can fill it with stuff. Um, you know, it's an emergency situation. I'd probably do it, but survival, I wouldn't recommend it because again, it sold. They've got no holes or rips. No, don't get me wrong, they're in very good condition. Um, just I wouldn't rely on them because of their age. Uh, yeah, this one's got a this one's got a drawstring. Um, at the moment, they've just got massive tarps in there, just so I can show you the size they are and they go down to. Um, so I quickly compress them up. When I post these out, when I ship all these items, there's no first, second, third. They'll all go to one person. Um, yeah, when I ship them out, they'll be emptied out and then posted because I obviously want to keep the two tarps out of here. Uh, I think this one's a 10, 12 by 14. And I think that's a 10 by 12 tarp. Uh, right, let's see. As you can see under there. People say do it that way. People say do it that way. I normally pull them downwards and then sit on it. Get the air out, or as much air as possible, and then give it a real good tug. And that one's gone from about two foot long to about eight, nine inches long. Um, yeah, again, I've had single duvets in here. You get a week's worth of clothing there. Um, really does compress your items down to make it easier for uh, traveling and so on. Actually, they've both got loops on them. They've both got loops, so you can give them a real good tug. Yeah, they've both got loops on the handles. Again, that one's gone down to about six inches wide. Um, they are great, comfortable when they're in that state for sitting on. They make wonderful stalls when you're camping. Get them out of your bag, sit on them, have a brew. So there's both the compression sacks. The map, map case, they're both British Army. Webtex, Webtex, Viper. Um, probably five, 10, 15, 25, 35 quid worth of stuff. Second hand value. Um, but new, probably 30, 40, 50, 60, 60, 70 quid new. It's not the price that matters, it's how handy so if you've got a use for these items um, get your VR done send me a message and uh, don't actually know what I'm doing with my hand I'm just doing stuff yeah send me a VR while you subscribe to me and uh, on the 1st of January I'll do a draw and the lucky winner will get well unlucky maybe if you don't want the items <laughs> but the winner of the VR competition will get all these items excluding what's in the compression sacks i uh, don't expect to get the tarps i'm keeping them um, this is purely for the uh, compression sacks in an empty state i'm not giving away the tarps because i kind of need them if i had a load of stuff i didn't need i'd probably give it away but unfortunately i need the stuff i do have right thanks for watching youtube thanks for subscribing i've got to get this on uh, uploaded as quickly as possible um and they give everyone a good chance. And again, really, 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 really big, big, big thank you for uh, all the response, all the messages, comments. Um, people I've met on here, I've met a few people now on YouTube from different communities. Um, 
you know, I talk pretty much nearly every day to most people on here on a regular basis, like the same people. Um, got some good friends now, good knowledge, shared some, received some, good advice, good items, been gifted a few good gifts, some fantastic items. Been, it's amazing, it's blown me away. I've been given like a multi-mode CB, uh, an 18 foot antenna, uh, a four foot antenna, um, what else have been given? Been given, I don't know, been given quite a few things. Uh, I was given something similar to this a while ago, which I gave to the uh, stepson. Um, it's a camouflage version of it. Oh, I had no use for it. I kind of gave it away in a competition on here though, but um, yeah, I gave it to him. He, you know, he likes it. Um, I've been given, yeah, some good stuff. Um, equally as good as the important and, uh, and knowledges of as I've, as I've gained because YouTube's uh, quite a handy thing actually first came on YouTube decades ago just for random like funny videos of I know cats playing chopsticks with chopsticks <laughs> and so on and then found out I can fix like my car my computer and learn about other stuff because of YouTube and uh, yeah met some amazing people on the way so yeah shout out to everyone on my channel and uh yeah big thank you to everyone that subscribed to me uh good luck in the competition and um yeah i'm out i think the 21st and 22nd of december for an overnight or somewhere and uh, that'll be uploaded about christmas time so uh yeah merry christmas if i don't catch you before the draw <laughs>